Hi guys, Andre from Nectar Desk is here. Today I'm gonna uh, look into newly added pipe drive workflow automation feature. How could it be useful for all of us who are making a lot of phone calls and sending a lot of text messages? And we will cover how it could be useful together with the Nectar Desk integration. How can it optimize your workflow together? Here at Nectar Desk, we are using pipe drive internally, so we got like extremely excited by this feature and uh, many useful cases. Today we're gonna we'll look into just one simple case uh, which happening to our sales rep on a, on a daily basis. Sales rep is making a phone calls and reaching someone's voicemail. I, as a manager, would like two things happen uh, when my sales rep hitting someone's voicemails. First, I want to make sure that it's still getting recorded into pipe drive that sales rep attempted to call. And not only call, that we know that it is actually a voicemail. And second, I want to make sure that my sales rep is not going to forget to schedule another phone call to the same lead in a couple of days or in a couple of hours. Thanks to pipe drive workflow automation, it's relatively simple to do right now. We're going to navigate to automation section of pipe drive and look into the scenario um, I created. So scenario consists of two parts. One is a trigger and second part is activity. So trigger in our case is actually completed phone call, completed phone call using Nectar Desk and not just any phone call. We want to make sure that this automation only be triggered by phone call, which end up into voicemail. That's why we have if voicemail and if make sure that this phone call is completed. Activity type as a voicemail, you can set up under company settings in custom activity type. So you can create any kind of custom activity type and depends on your workflow, whatever is important for your business. In our case, we will just cover the simple scenario with the voicemail. So trigger is completed. So trigger again is phone call, which end up being in voicemail. Now activity in our case will be a create activity, create a new activity under the same deal. And we want to make sure that we're going to schedule it in three days. And we put a simple subject of call again and a call, call type. That's it. So automation is set and ready to go. Now I'm going to demonstrate it to you how it works with the Nectar Desk uh, under, under my contact. So this is uh, myself and this is my cell phone. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use our click to call extension. I'm going to make a test phone call to my cell phone. Hopefully it's going to start ringing in a, in a second or two so I can show you what's happening next. Okay, so it is ringing. Uh, so let's pretend it's let's pretend it's going to end up into voicemail. So you will have a disposition uh, pop up come out, and uh, you have a drop down with a different kind of dispositions. You see, some of them have this dash pipe drive dash pipe drive. So this is automatically pre-populated through the API, and our system is pulling custom call type activities from the pipe drive. Uh, in our case, we're going to select voicemail and we can add certain comments to it. And as well, we have our own little SMS and email automation. So I can follow up at automatically from the screen with a text message. So we're going to send, hey, happy new year lead. I hope you send up next year. So we're sending text message and we're going to save this call outcome. That's it. Uh, now let's see what's happened with an actual pipe drive. So we have a couple things happened. So first, SMS is sent, it's got logged. Second, call got logged, but not just as a call activity type, but as a voicemail activity, uh, as a voicemail call activity. And we see that our automation kicked in and next activity got scheduled. So um, no need of manual action on the sales rep and it really saves a whole bunch of time and makes sure that you don't rely on their memory. Uh, plus uh, standard things, which is call details, everything is available here. Now, this is a most useful and the simplest case scenario. 
you may look into different uh, other options. For example, if it's a successful call, you may want to mark deal as won, or you may want to move it to different pipeline or a different deal stage. Again, different kind of scenarios, different outcomes. Uh, if you really uh, believe you guys can benefit out of it, feel free to reach out to uh, our sales guys, uh, Nectar Desk support people. They would be happy to guide you how to set it up. If you are not a Nectar Desk user and you're still interested in you know, how this all work together, feel free to comment under this YouTube video. Uh, same thing if you have any ideas about um, further expansion of these features. We're really excited, uh, really excited about Pipedrive making huge progress on a daily base. Uh, thank you, everyone, for your time and thank you for watching this video. Again, if you're interested, I will be posting more of those Pipedrive related uh, videos. So feel free to subscribe and comment under this video. Thank you, guys.